be something else. Naomi, we've been through this. Whatever time I have left, I want to spend it with you. I... Enjoying each other. Not chasing some impossible cure. There's nothing left to do. You can't leave. <laughs> I've made my decision. Irwin and I are going home. But you... please don't try to convince me. I'm happy. I'm finally happy, and I don't want to go back. I understand how you feel. No, you couldn't possibly. My father was murdered. My father was murdered. I was just a kid at the time. But the bottom fell out of my whole world. I was... There was a dark place, and I was in it. Until one day, this friend gave me a pill. And I took it, and all of a sudden, I felt okay. But I, felt, I felt good. And so I kept taking them and I felt great. And when people would try to get me to stop and tell me that it wasn't real, I would just laugh because it was real. How I felt it was better. It was better than being miserable. But it almost killed me. I was dead for three minutes, and let me tell you, when you are lying on a stretcher, gasping for what you think are your last breaths, you don't think that dying happy is better than living sad. <laughs> dying sucks. It hurts in a way that I can't describe to you. And no, uh, I don't believe that people can change. I don't believe that you'll change, but maybe I'm wrong. And hell, maybe you will wake up from that surgery and you will be happy, but if you're dead, if you are rotting in the ground from some tumor that ate your brain, you don't get a chance to find that out. And one more thing, and then I will go. I'm, I'm not a religious person. I don't believe in God. But if I did... I wouldn't believe in a God that wanted you to die the horrible, painful death that you will experience from a giant tumor that will take away your ability to speak and see and go to the bathroom and breathe on your own. <laughs> okay. See, maybe she's right. Maybe this is what God wants. Right? I'll do it. I'll do the surgery. <laughs> <laughs>